Local artist Bill Bledsoe always brings amazing paintings for us to admire here on Daytime Tri-Cities. And for the past 29 years, he has created artwork for the National Storytelling Festival in Jonesboro. And he joins us to showcase his latest work for the festival that's happening this very weekend. Hey, Chris. Hey, Bill. Good to see you, good buddy. Good you. You know, we're normally talking about football. Oh, yeah. And we still talk about and it. And we could talk about <laughs> football, but it's National Storytelling. Yes. Uh, festival's coming up this weekend. And you've created another masterpiece. It looks oh, thanks, beautiful. Chris. Appreciate it really it. looks good. It's returned to October Place. Right. October Place is the nickname that uh, we sort of give Jonesboro, uh, and uh, particularly around this festival. Right. Uh, I did the second print that I did for storytelling in 1990 right. was called October Place. And so it kind of be became that nickname. So in a lot of the prints, I'll make some reference to October Place as I did in this one. You come full circle on it. Sure. That. Oh, yeah. And talk to us what inspired you. I mean, we got a balloon in there. I mean, just, just numerous things going on here. Well, this this will start a series of four. This is the right. first in a series of four that I call the gizmo. <laughs> There's some little gizmo right. or something going on in there, this kind of a machine of imagination. Uh, and, of course, you've got the balloon. And then uh, the little storytelling man who's in all the prints, he's operating this little bicycle-like machine. He's coming into Jonesboro. And it just... You know, for me, storytelling, there's so much imagination connected with it right. in and around the stories that it really is just, there's so much opportunity to create uh, uh, imagery that right. sort of, you know, it symbolically captures that. So anyway, so this is, uh, that, that's, that, that was the motivation, of course, behind this, is it is all of them. And you literally could stay on any street corner in downtown Jonesboro during right. the storytelling festival and paint all day. Oh, I sure. Mean, and just and get different images every day, every yeah. every hour. Right. Well, uh, about oh, 15 years ago, I wrote a script or text for a children's book, right. and so I did the thumbnails of for storytelling about storytelling, and I did the thumbnails of all the illustrations that I would use about 16, 20 illustrations, and they're all you know, just prints in and, of their, uh, in and of themselves. And so all these, every, every image that I've done uh, for the past 16 years specifically in those right. 29 are based on those illustrations. So whenever that book comes to fruition, you'll see the relevance right. between, and that's why they're all connected. Whenever right. you look at the prints, there's something that I did the year before that's connected with this one, and then next year will be something from this that connects. So you can actually, they actually sort of tell a story right. in a they're way. They're giving you a narrative that's right. of all these years of the storytelling. Mm -hmm. That's great. That, I love that idea. That's yeah. a great idea. And Thank you. We got to talk a little football. Sure. When's your next? When's your next piece you're going to do for football? Well, I've been working on uh, versions of each of the ETSU games. Okay. Uh, we did the one of right. UT that we air, had on here right. on the show, but yeah. I'm doing one of each game, and I'm so excited about it because I really felt that UT game, regardless right. of the outcome, would be much more beneficial right. to ETSU than it ever would be to UT, right. and, and in, in regards to how they play uh, the rest of their games. And I. I think it's very exciting. I'm I, looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. Bill, thank you so Good much. Good seeing you, Chris. Thanks for being here. Thank you.